Hello, once again, Kenny Jacobs here from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm a PGA teaching professional. My videos talk both about the game of golf as well as being a Christian and living in the last days. I just want to do a quick uh, video. I just got done watching the uh, State of the Union address. And I would like to give uh, my version of a born-again, spirit-filled, Bible-believing Christian's response. Did anyone catch that Obama said that he's reduced the deficit? I really... And then we let him get by with it. No one questions him about that stuff. And I really think he believes his lies. And the scary thing is, I think a lot of the Americans believe his lies as well. <clears throat> Here's the real state of the Union. Here's things that I wish people would ask him about. Number one, the dollar is about to collapse. No question about it. Number two, Obamacare is destroying the nation and will eventually force the RFID chip on everyone. Number three, FEMA camps exist. And there's a watch list that has 8 million Americans that are considered high risk on that list. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm one of them just because I do these videos. Government has 30,000 guillotines waiting. Obama sort of supports terrorist groups and has Muslim Brotherhood in the White House administration. Department of Homeland Security has been buying billions and billions of rounds of ammo, and FEMA has coffins already. They're preparing for civil unrest and martial law. Local police forces are becoming militarized and being trained for martial law. <clears throat> the government can arrest and indefinitely detain any American they want without charges if they think you're a threat. I saw Jason Collins sitting in the crowd. Obama's invited him. He's the first NBA player to come out as openly gay. <clears throat> People that support gay rights, atheists, the secular humanists, and Islam, as evidenced by the uh, new military laws and rules that Obama's come up with that will now allow beards and turbans in our military while... The chaplains can't pray in the name of Jesus anymore. Shows that those groups have more rights than Christians in America now. And the Department of Homeland Security now lists Christians as the number one security threat in America. Not Al-Qaeda. Not foreign terrorists. Not Islam. Christians. <clears throat> The State of the Union is that God is going to ju judge our nation. Judgment is coming soon. Isaiah 5.20 Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's where our nation is right now. And nothing's going to get done. It doesn't matter who the president is. The nation has declined so far. Society around the world has declined so far. The new world order is on its way. That's the state of our union. It's time to wake up. Jesus is coming back soon. All the signs are here.